Um, we are. We're ready. Okay. I'm Mark. <laughs> and. Hi, hi guys. Who are you and what team do you with? <laughs> alright, alright. That's Larry Ferber. I'm Laura Sanders. <laughs> we're Team Cat in the Hat. Uh, Larry's the skipper. Uh, enjoyed the race so far. Uh, wonderful weather for the most part. We've been running through some storms in the last two days. But for me, I kind of like running into storms to pick up a little speed. But Larry doesn't like this much as me. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I, I'm from South Carolina. My, my profession is I'm, I'm a lawyer. Um, and I'll let Larry tell his background. This is my personal attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if you have any questions or legal issues, <laughs> talk to Laurie Sanders, please, because I can't really address them. Um, if you're with a law enforcement agency or any kind of <laughs> legal dispute, again, I refer you to my personal attorney. Uh, I'm a physician. I'm a surgeon. If you have any trouble with me as a surgeon or you're a patient with a problem, I want to refer you again to my personal attorney, <laughs> Laurie Sanders. If I've ever cut you off in a boat race or caused any uh, injury or personal assault, I want to refer you to my personal attorney. <laughs> Sorry, Sanders. Um, no, uh, uh, I'm a physician. I also work as an engineer. So, How many uh, races have you been in, Larry? So this is race. I've done five tibies, uh, other smaller races, and uh, this is the third part of 300. So this is like year eight. Um, my standard regular partner, Jackson Smith, done six together. I did the last Tybee with Brian Payne, first two Floridas with Jackson. And uh, this year, Laurie and I are in a group called the Water Tribe, and we started racing together in um, oh, North we're, Carolina. We're racing against, racing each, against each, other. each other. He was sailing and I was paddling. Then the next race, I was sailing, he was paddling. And then we decided sailing's better. <laughs> and why don't we work together instead of racing against each other? So uh, we, we joined up here. And um, in case I had any legal issues, I could refer everyone to my personal attorney, Laurie Sanders. Um, <laughs> no, we've had a great time. A couple of things to say about the race. You want to. When we first started this race, we knew nothing. I I'd bought a catamaran about six months before. I was a sailor, but I wasn't a cat sailor bought the inner 23 months before. We, we had no idea what distance tracing was about. We uh, didn't realize the commitment required. Uh, we tried to stay with a friend and save on hotels, so we were driving an hour a day. We showed up the last minute before the race and, and did set the boat up right. So there's so many things to learn, but the, the reason I'm bringing all this up is there's a lot of people out there who are a lot better sailors than I ever will be that aren't out here sailing on the distance. And I, I think the thing is anyone can do the race. So uh, first, we just want to encourage people that are sitting at home to, to get out and start racing your cats more and, and consider doing this race. And you can just do the one or two day version and then build up to it. The, um, the second thing I want to bring up is Lori hadn't stepped on the catamaran until five days ago, six days ago? Uh, three days before race star, whatever that was. Uh, Mono holes, yeah, I was familiar with, but never never been on a cat other than you know, lack of day school, like two hours out type of thing. But, uh, never raced a cat, didn't know about trapezing, none of those things. What was the biggest learning curve for any particular part of the boat? I, I think probably the biggest learning curve was the just shifting your weight appropriately. I mean, it's amazing how much difference that'll make in speed if you just move up an inch or two. Um, you know, and I guess the other learning curve is that I actually like the thing a little bit better than a small mon monohull because getting out of the trap actually is a lot more comfortable than sitting in hunched over and your back hurting and, and getting beat, you know, beat you know, in five different directions in a monohull. And, uh, and especially like the speed, because you know, the, the monoholes I've raced in the water trial events, you know, we were happy if we were you know, picking up six knots, and we were elated if we were going eight. Um, they were sitting out here like, oh, we're only going seven knots, and like, bummed. <laughs> like, <you know. laughs> so there, there's a big difference, you know, like, definitely like the speed. And uh, much, much, much more fun, but you know, everything about it is a lot more fun. Um, so, 
Yeah, that's a long answer to your question, but thank you for a good question. Yeah, Laurie's been a really incredibly quick learner. Um, I think each day we're working together and getting better. And, uh, you know, today we're just low, low wind or quote unquote low wind, you know, 10 to 15 knots spin, downwind spin tracking with uh, Laurie single trapped and just making those micro adjustments and changing the weight. You know, you let, you let the sheet about one inch and, and the boat just incredibly picks up speed. And just watching Lori, you know, it's, it's like every single tack, every single jive, every single adjustment we make, you just soaks up like a sponge. So it's been really exciting to see someone adapt from model holes to cats and, 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 and really just, just pick it up. Each day we've gotten faster, I feel like. Uh, today we had a great day um, in the F-18 pack. We're still trying to catch up with the Olympic youth sailor kids in the high 20s. Uh, we may have a few more days of practice to get there, but um, you know, when I was coming up on the beach today, and you just look at the row of uh, us 13, let's just say 15 beach catamarans, all lined up, all holes spacing out. Everyone's working, everyone's helping each other. You have this beautiful sea breeze, this ocean's coming in, we have a full moon. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. So, I, I, you know, I don't know what anyone else is doing. If you're at home watching TV, if you're going out to a restaurant, you know, whatever else in life the rest of the world's doing, uh, it's just unbelievable how incredible this experience is. And we just want to share it. We want, we want people to understand why we're doing it. We want people to come join us and, uh, um, you know, I just couldn't think of a better thing to do in a day than, than racing catamaran 50 or 60 miles on the ocean. What do you tell the people who look at this and say, God, oh, that looks like a lot of work and a lot of effort and a lot of planning, and why do you go through all of that? I mean, it can be done. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's just like anything else. I mean.